In Crime Tracker 10 this morning, crime fighters protecting your home while you're away for the holidays. Crime Tracker 10's Angela Ann joins us now with more. Well, thank you. I'm joined this morning by crime specialist Pierre LaRose. He's with the Westerville Police Division. And we want to first talk about people traveling away for the holidays. If they haven't left their homes yet, there are some really important things they should do to protect their houses, right? Definitely. You want to make sure, obviously, your doors are locked when you're leaving because that's the number one thing. At the same time, you want to make sure that you have adequate lighting on the exterior of your home and probably let somebody that you trust, let them know that you're going out of town. As a crime specialist, you see the trends when it comes to break-ins, when they happen, why they happen. And you were saying earlier um, that homes with alarms are actually rarely burglarized. Talk about that. Yes, yeah, so having an alarm is a major deterrent. Uh, it throws a potential burglar off of their usual routine. Those burglars are usually habitual mm -hmm. and so having an alarm can really disrupt their flow. And then what you can do before you leave. A lot of people don't realize but they forget last minute uh, stopping their mail or newspaper. Talk about that. Yes, uh, stopping your mail or newspaper delivery is key because if somebody's paying attention to your home and they mm -hmm. see newspapers piling up on the driveway or the mailbox is full, that lets them know that you're out of town and that you know increases the likelihood of them wanting to target your residence. So you could do a vacation hold or maybe just ask a neighbor to pick it up for you just to be sure. Definitely. Finding somebody you trust, letting them know you're going out of town and having them maybe pull your mail for you would be a good idea. So let's talk about social media. It is huge and everybody wants to show off their pictures of vacation or hey I'm at the airport and look at you know my view from the sky but mm -hmm. that's not the smartest. No, not always the best idea because you're again inviting unwanted attention to your property and what you may have. Letting people know that you're going to be out of town for the next 10 days is also letting people know that that's a good time to stop by your home. So. And, and a lot of people also leave on their voicemail at work, I, uh, I'm out of the office, mm -hmm. I'll be back on such and such date. Uh, but that's also triggering to burglars or potential burglars of somebody being out of town. So what should you say instead? You want to go with a generic message. I know the holiday greetings are always, you know, a popular thing. but when you're leaving those holiday greetings, if somebody's calling around different homes in the neighborhood checking those messages, mm -hmm. they might now know that you're out of town for an extended period of time. Right. And finally, uh, police departments, I know you guys do vacation checks, so that's always a good thing mm -hmm. um, to request. But what if your home does, say, get broken into? What can you do then to maybe better protect yourself in terms of maybe getting your items back? Is there something that you can do, like an inventory? Yeah, um, being proactive, you want to try to inventory your items, especially your more higher price items, electronics and things of that nature. Taking down serial numbers and even taking pictures are a good idea if it comes to getting your items back. And real quick, why serial numbers? Why will that help? Well, serial numbers are the thing that are used to track these items if they're stolen and then possibly use it a pawn shop. So. All right. Pierre mm -hmm. LaRose, thank you so much. Thank you. Happy holidays to you. Same to you. And same to you. Stay safe. Angela, thank you. And Crime Tracker 10, helping to keep you safe with our interactive crime map. Just go to 10tv.com slash crime tracker. Uh, 10, Crime Tracker 10, to type in your address, sign up for alerts, submit crime tips, and just stay informed about crimes where you live.